very annoying for Prince Harry and Meghan Markle when you think about this because they've had, well, some might say a rather rocky time from the British monarchy. Equally, of course, you could say that the British monarchy have had a very rocky time from Meghan and Harry. At the start of this year, they were told that they had to zip it out of Frogmore Cottage. This was, of course, the cottage that they mocked on international television with their docu-series. Apparently, when Oprah Winfrey saw it, she couldn't quite believe exactly where they were living. Clearly, she's lived too long in the celebrity world. It's a beautiful place in the beautiful grounds of Windsor Castle. How ungrateful do you truly have to be? But now there are more developments that apparently even Harry himself is incredibly upset by. And it's always hard, isn't it? Because when you fire those bombshells one way, you simply don't like them fired back another. As ever, let me explain. Hi, good morning. Neil Sean here. Nice to see you. We'll have a wave today. You all right? Yes. Thank you as ever for joining me. Thank you, one and all. Brand new subscribers. We're in a beautiful corner right now. Beautiful weather, a little bit humid, ready for a pot of tea. Are you ready for a pot of tea? Oh, you're going to bed already you can't we haven't finished yet let me get back to your breaking royal story of the day now when you think about our late and wonderful monarch of 70 years queen elizabeth ii there were a few people around her particularly in the last couple of years after the tragic sad loss of the duke of edinburgh her rock you know prince philip that really kept it together for her now, one of them, of course, was Angela Kelly, the much confidant and dresser who rationalised and moved Queen Elizabeth into a different era with all those wonderful bright coats and hats. She loved it and we love seeing her in them. She really did stick out. But there was another person very close to her, Sir Edward Young. He, of course, was her closest confidant, the person that really went through all the mail, all the red boxes with her on a daily basis. Now, all thanks to a brand new, well, whatever you want to call it, honour from His Majesty the King, King Charles III, he will be taking on a bigger role. Something, apparently, according to a very good source out in Montecito, that has rather irked the former royal known as Prince Harry. Let me explain. As everyone knows Prince Harry still really is a counsellor of state, and that's another problem that irks a lot of people over here in the United Kingdom. But now... Mr. Young, Edward Young, Sir Edward Young, will be the permanent Lord-in-waiting. And this gives him the wonderful opportunity of being able to assist and, of course, deputise, should that be the case, for His Majesty the King, should he ever be unavailable. Now, this is an incredibly privileged role and one of the highest order, quite frankly. Now, you would have thought, in normal circumstances, this role wouldn't simply be revived. But as Princess Anne, the Princess Royal, recently said, a slimmed down monarchy doesn't necessarily mean a very good thing. And His Majesty the King has called upon Edward Young because he wholeheartedly trusts him. As you know, perhaps that role could have been given to another former aide of the King, Michael Fawcett, but sadly he had to move away. So for now, it looks like Edward Young, who was called the Bee in Prince Harry's book, rather cruelly talking about him in a guise, and we all believe this is the person he's referring to, as ever we have to say allegedly. Well, it looks like Sir Edward Young is quite literally taking the place of Prince Harry. What did Harry truly now give up? And is this the reason why both he and Meghan are getting more and more upset and annoyed with their alleged treatment over here from the British monarchy? Many might suggest though, with only themselves to blame. Neil Sean in the very heart of London.